My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Video Games. It's Video Games time. Let me click the Video Games buttons. There we go. Oh, gotta click the Video Game button over here as well to make sure that you all can see the video game. It's time for another champ run. I really want to trade that opening relic again. By the way, it has been patched so that now uh, there are a couple of different map changes. Some of the most important salient ones are that there are now fewer rest sites and elites near the very top of the map. And there is also always, after the Emerald Elite, an ability to break the Emerald Key, should you fight that on the final floor. So both of those are particularly exciting. Uh, I don't necessarily know if I'm going to be utilizing either of them right now. Uh, none of these paths are that great. Like, there's nothing with... Is there anything actually with two Elites and two Rests, even? Yes, but the rests are super early and the elites are late. I mean, that gives me two abilities to upgrade before an emerald elite. That's pretty good. Okay, let's trade. Ooh, power armor. All right, well, we're going to be building around it. We're going to be building with it in mind, so I think this is going to be okay for us. Uh, your maximum fatigue encounter is 15 and your maximum hand size is 8, but we do get an extra energy every single turn. Hmm. All right. I think I'm still going to start pretty much in the same location as I was previously going to. Let's take the taunt upgrade. Feels like that's pretty much always relevant. Ah, yes. Definitely relevant here. Because now we can taunt to enter defensive and then execute to get out of it. Actually defending ourselves for this turn. Really unfortunate to get a super aggressive hand and then a super defensive hand, but that's that's how it shakes out from time to time. That'll do, though. Focus defensive. Bring it on. We can also see now the finisher text happens at the very bottom of the card, and then if I were in a stance, this would be modified to show what I would get on the finisher because that does trigger at the end. Love that change. Makes it a hell of a lot more readable for me. Circumvent and Focus Defensive both seem not necessarily impactful here. I'll take Bring It On. Mm. I'm bring It On before going into a stance. Use the stance to get into Defensive, just in case I need to defend next turn and don't otherwise have the ability. And then strike the Frontliner. Never mind, no need to defend. Gut Punch, Flurry of Strikes, and Iron Fortress. Man. Power Armor is really limiting. Uh, I mean, I guess if I consistently use finishes to turn my fatigue into into just resolve and cure it. Maybe that's the way to utilize power armor here. So gut punch therefore makes sense. Deals five damage twice. Upgrades to have the defensive combo go from fatigue five to fatigue 10. I like it. Let's take a gut punch. Do I really want to go for an early shop here? I don't think so. I'll, uh, I'll fight you all later. I could fish for a finisher in order to try and save 5 HP here. Don't necessarily think that's an effective usage of my time. Chain Lash, Lariat, and Gut Punch. Chain Lash is the updated version of one of the Sigil cards. The Sigil cards have all been changed. And it is Technique. Repeat this effect two times. Upgrades to repeat it three times. There's also one that does three upgrades to five at zero cost, but it exhausts. Uh, and then there is a final one that I cannot currently recall. Dang. Um, 
Yeah, th like this would be a great technique deck, but any technique is going to be stacking fatigue or counter or cards. Uh, and those are exactly the things the power armor doesn't let me have. So I'm going to take another gut punch. Let's try and go aggressive defensive with a couple finishes as well. All right, I'll fight you. Okay, we taunt into defensive so we can use gut punch for some fatigue. I'll pretty happily use some potions here as well. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I don't desperately need to kill that turn. Alright, it's quite likely I managed to defend reasonably for the next one. And then I get to save the potions. Sigil of Victory. That is the other one we were talking about. It's also now uncommon. The technique that... Oh, it's two upgrades to four. Okay, maybe it's been nerfed since I last looked at it. Um, whenever you lose HP on your turn, gain one temporary strength. I like that. Wait, temporary strength? Oh, okay, never mind. Um... Yeah, because you would want to use, like, a bunch of fatigue, like, technique triggers in order to utilize this effectively, and I'm just not going to be doing that. Perfected Strike. I don't really think I want Perfected Strike in this build. Because there's a lot of strike cards that I'm not really going to want to draft either. So I think I'm going to pass here. Um... Gut punches. Well, okay, the, the fatigue upgrade specifically on the gut punches is pretty significant there. Turn up, you can normally become frail. No, because I'm going to be generating defense out of non block cards a lot of the time here. So let's take a sapphire key. Don't really need to break the sapphire key right now. The second upgrade to gut punch. I'm looking for another defensive entry. Ideally, one that isn't. Difficult for us to carry happily. Okay. So I can taunt my way into defensive, then use gut punch, and then execute. That gets me more fatigue, but if I taunt my way into defense, then I can actually try and full defend this turn. I could also literally just bring it on Gut Punch Execute. That's actually really good. That was a finisher and I was already in a stance. I can't believe I forgot that. Oops. That's actually really, really bad. We're about to have an awful experience out of this fight directly as a result of that. Yikes. Fine. That was really bad on my part. Don't, don't like how I handled that. Defensive combo, gain block you go to your counter, no, gain counter, no. Uh Haymaker's not bad. But it is a gladiator combo. Ooh, it doesn't upgrade to become a technique anymore either. Interesting. It's also not even a multi-hit. It feels like it's it's effectively just two cost weak for us right now. And two cost weak is not great okay so if i actually open with the execute i'll draw two cards uh three cards rather sure nice gives me the ability to use bring it on and then leave myself in defensive at the end of the turn so the gut punches are going to be ready Just totally totally prepped for that Defensive Shout. Enter Defensive. Gain 4 Counter. It's a technique as well. Upgrades to give you 8 Counter. There's also Adrenal Armor here though. And Adrenal Armor is exactly the kind of thing that we want in this build. Adrenal Armor is so good. Uh, remove a card from the deck or gain the 100 gold. So I'll go for the removal. Probably like a base strike now. I put myself a little, little bit too defensive here, maybe. No? Huh? This card is high lit, but I'm not in a stance. Strange. Um, 
I mean, like, I can gut punch and then adrenal armor. Wouldn't be too difficult to do. Mm. Then I can even execute at the end of the turn, get myself out of the stance. Yeah, sure. Could build some counter with that bring it on. So the execute is just dealing the same damage as gut punch, but it takes me out of a stance. Do I want to be out of a stance right now? Not necessarily. I'm going to gut punch and then just bring it on for the counter, which does retain. Okay. Then technique my way into defensive to set up for the next gut punch. Nice. Love this. We gut punch into adrenal armor. Use a single strike and then a bring it on to full defend that turn as well as knock back 10 damage to the enemy. Uh, should have been execute first for the extra damage and then defensive just set ourselves up for the kill. Bye bye, Lager. And hello, Ooh, meat on the bone. If your HP is out of below 50% at the end of combat, heal for 12 HP. Very, very, very effective right here. Arena preparation. I mean, it does fatigue five as well. Maybe that's all of the technique support I really put in this deck. Let's do it. Bring it on, killing the frontliner, then taunt my way into defensive and kill the backliner. We get below half HP for the sake of the meat on the bone, and then literally all I gotta do is like kill the louse without taking damage here, and we get to heal up a ridiculous amount by the end of the battle. I love the meat on the bone synergy with Berserker. I it's just perfect. Fan of knives, chain lash, backstab. I, backstep is is a bridging piece between defensive and berserker in the other direction, and I do want it. It's just it's never going to give me a huge amount of block, and I should be okay with that if I'm going to take it. I can't take the relic there in good faith. Let's arena prep. Looking for defensive here. Oh, my hand is... Oh, God. Okay, yeah, that, that arena prep I can't cast at the start of a turn because five cards in hand, it'll give us two in hand and we draw three from the Centennial Puzzle if we haven't taken damage yet. Um, yikes. I'm going to viciously mock you. I'm going to tell you to bring it on, and then I'm going to defend a couple times here, too. Really wish I could have actually played something else. Okay. So once I weigh into defensive, and then take out the frontliner as well as full defend. So backstab enters defensive, and then I can use that for the fatigue out of gut punch. Use Adrenal Armor for slightly more. Does Adrenal Armor still upgrade to be a... No, it just upgrades its block. Cool, that makes sense. We're up on our total amount of fatigue that we have the ability to get. However... Now we've killed all of it, unfortunately making sure that we didn't have the meat on the bone, but we weren't going to have it there anyway. Aggression, no. I'm not be taking any of those either. Okay, I'm gonna fish for an attack potion. I mean, death blow gives us fatigue, which draws for us, so we'll do that. I was looking for a way to get into a stance for the sake of the gut punch.
So we'll stance into defensive, using Gut Punch to get into aggressive. Unfortunately, we only take the five damage to that. Because, yeah, 10 fatigue. Makes sense. Uh, then... I mean, like, I Gut Punch again and then bring it on. Why did that deal the damage to me? Huh? Why did... I was in Berserker. Why did it... Huh? Am I missing something? I didn't think it was going to do damage that turn to me. Oh, well. Next we go Adrenal into Backstep, and then an Execute, rounding out the turn. Adrenal into Backstep again. Use Arena Preparation first. Ooh. These are exactly perfect to make sure that I don't get either of combos. Rude. Let's draw. Okay, good. Should I... I think Defensive Shout bring it on? Okay, now I'm going to Gut Punch and then Adrenal Armor instead. I'll tell you what, I'm not necessarily loving the experience of using the Power Armor. I, I'm, I'm feeling like I really would have preferred the base relic at this point. It seems like all of the things this character does play into fatigue, counter, or draw in some way. So it feels real limiting to all of the things the character does. I don't know, that's just my first interpretation of it. Um, I wouldn't be entirely surprised to die here. There we go. I was about to say entirely surprised to die in this fight. I did not count the damage that turn. I expected we were going to be in the fight long enough that I needed to use these on a later turn. I didn't calculate the damage uh, for a couple reasons, and one of them is because I was kind of happy to die there. Just, just a little. Because if we had that same deck, but just didn't have power armor, perfect. Uh, it would have been a great start for a, uh, a kind of build I've been looking to go into. Obtain a random rare card. Yeah. Let's try and make it work. Can only be played if you're under 50% HP. Remove all debuffs. Gain 6 strength finisher. Okay. This is really, really, really good. Because I can use it after I have half of my health bar as fatigue. So it's still pushing me to do a Berserker build. Which I'm really happy about. Because I would very much like to do a Berserker build. That said... Uh, okay, never mind. We actually do need the taunt upgrade. I feel like... I feel like I always need to go for the taunt upgrade immediately, though. Um, so taunt defensive, just in case. Okay, single strike to the front line, and then... Right, don't have four energy. That makes sense. Still gives me the ability to exit this on a later turn, though. Guess I'll just apply weak to you here. Take my four lumps. And get ready to deal a little back. Stance Dance in Circle and Battle Plan. This is the other sigil. Battle Plan. Zero cost technique. Upgrades to be a zero cost technique that also gives three block. Um... This is obviously quite good in specifically the... Uh, well, I mean, any any build that has a lot of draw because it's running Gladiator, right? Take a circle, though. Love it. Oh, yeah! Start each combat with four plated armor. Do not mind if I do. Choose a card to get technique. Lose five HP. Tome of technique. Wandering down a side path, you feel an immense, invisible force guiding your footsteps towards a new destination. 
Before long, you see a pedestal with a massive tome warped in some eerie, glowing energy. As you approach, the pages which were clearly blank before spring to life, etching into new etching into itself new carvings and drawings of attack combinations, martial stances, enemy weak points, everything you could ever need to know about fighting. It seems almost too good to be true, but this opportunity, this gift, this knowledge simply must not go to waste. Let's give a card technique, sure. Oh, play this twice? Wait, in circle doesn't upgrade to get technique. Oh, hell yes, hell yes, hell yes. Choose. <gasps> Unbelievable! The teachings of this tome. Sorry, the teachings this tome has to offer are breathtaking. Every word and diagram leaps off of the page into your mind, granting you new methods of slaughtering your opponents. Unfortunately, such knowledge never comes without a cost, and it takes a toll on your psyche. But there's so much more to learn. Okay, I need to know. I can't give it to a card that already has it. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I mean, look, I could put it on execute, but really it doesn't matter anymore. Like, it, but I kind of also just want to dig heavy on this event and see what ultimately it does at the end, if it does anything at the end. Right, fine. Oh, God. I, I think I have to go hard. I need to know how deep this goes. Yes. So much more. You can't stop now. With a little hesitation, you let yourself become overcome by the wealth of information the tome has to offer, finding even more new combat advantages. With the cost now fully understood, you voluntarily give more of your life energy to the book in exchange for its wisdom. But there's so much more to learn. Oh, really? Okay, never mind. It, it just continues going. <laughs> well, we've got low HP now. <laughs> I had to do it. It's, it's possible it was going to be like, oh, and now that you've done it three times, here's this thing kind of kind of thing, you know? Whatever price had to be paid was worth it to gain this precious knowledge. It takes much effort to peel yourself away from the book's hold over you, but you managed to do so. With the tomes teaching fresh in your mind, you set out to find a new victim to test them out on. Um, I'm now going to die. <laughs> Just a fun fact right there. I mean, I can't fatigue to death. That's not allowed. The game won't let me do that. So at least that's not how we're going. Um... Remove all debuffs. I guess it counts fatigue as a debuff. Oh, no, wait. It was a finish. Whoops. Defensive shout, chain lash, and flash the... Um... Well, yeah, I'll be passing on that one. Thank you. Oh, the safe path is to try and avoid leets right now. You know what? I'm going to try and take the safe path and see if we live. Let's get into Zerka. That'll do. Getting the block at the end of the turn from our effect. Love it. And Tropic Brew, as well as Star Stance, Gladiator Shout, and Defensive Shout. This still upgrades to become a technique, right? It does. Um, I mean, look, I'm going to need to find a little bit more Stance Entry. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get into Berserker, and neither of these are necessarily what I'm looking for. So we'll take Stance Stance. Lantern, start each combat with additional energy. Not bad. Uh-oh. This could be pretty bad. We're probably going to have to dig into that Entropic Brew, if I had to guess. And let's start out with a... Taunt to get into... Uh... Strike and execute would kill a target for me right now, right? But then I get weakened. I think I can deal with that. Okay, we go into... 
Wait, hang on. That's not going to work, is it? I would have had to use execute earlier. Because if I now go into... If I now go into Berserker and then I play Strike Execute to kill a target, I'm taking two damage this turn to the enemies. On top of whatever fatigue damage I happen to deal to myself. Well, actually, I'll be removing the fatigue damage. Um, okay, fine. I go... Because this is not going to be enough fatigue. The technique on this defend isn't going to be enough fatigue if I do take Berserk to actually give me a strength. It's fine. I think I'll use the Fear Potion and then just pop the Entropic Brew. Ah, uh, yes. I forgot that things could actually have their cost lowered there. Lovely. I mean, I can clear those debuffs with uh, a certain card draw. He's hoping for it. Uh, do not love this at all. I am going to take advantage of all the tools I have here to try and live. Still alive. We're on the thinnest ice possible. We're okay. We're okay. 618. That's not going to be enough. Okay. I defend, strike, and then I'll stand my way out of it. Making pretty much any kill. Super easy to get. Sigil of Victory as well as Start Stance. I could take Sigil of Victory to try and just give myself like a boost of fatigue early on in the fight. <laughs> I'll take the healing, thank you. Hey, we lived. And speaking of having lived, it's uh, now time because we did that to upgrade things instead. Yay! Ooh, shot fight, love it. Yeah, I should try and get into Berserker at the end of the turn. So we last stand, strike, enter Berserker. Ah, I should have played the defend there. Whoops. Sigil of Victory. Thank you for the three points of strength you've just donated to the, uh, to the cause. Now I'm just looking for multi-hits, basically. And Adrenal Armor. Should I clear the fatigue? Yeah, I can clear the fatigue. Oh, that's interesting. Hang on. The technique for finisher gave me fatigue. Okay, so the technique occurred after the finisher at the very end on a card that's been given technique and finisher. Although... If the finisher had triggered, I was out of a stance, so the technique shouldn't have given... Wild. Uh, let's... Let's get back into Berserker and strike one more time. Oh, I could have done that. Double defend first, or at least a single defend first. Could have done one more damage! Ooh. Enchant Sword is gonna get really, really good when I find some multi-strikes for it. That Encircle is such a good hit for this Enchant Sword already. I'm, I'm jazzed about it. We found the Enchant Sword build. Oh, that's a Berserker Star right there, isn't it? And it's got a G-Dang Encircle next to it, as well as a Sigil of Victory? Ooh. Okay. So... 50 plus 66 is 116, plus 70 is 176. I have the ability to buy all three. Yep. 
Nothing else really gets a look in. I think that's just very easily the best one for us there. Okay, I'm going to Stance Dance into Gladiator so that I can use Taunt to try and draw a card here. See if I can draw something Enchant Sword can hit. I mean, if I stay in Gladiator, Sigil of Victory could still... Hey, there we go. Okay, we'll use Berserker Style now and then Enchant Sword on one of the Encircles. Do I just let him fly now? I got two more turns. No, I don't need to let him fly. In particular, I have time to do something like get Last Stand. Okay. Perfect. To Berserker, and then... Yeah, gosh, just... Absolutely ruin the enemy. <laughs> oh, that went pretty well. That went pretty well, I think. So, if we wanted to splash defensive in here, that'd be the gut punch. It's also aggression. How do I defend? Am I seriously just holding out for specifically the card Adrenal Armor? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Doesn't necessarily seem like good play. Backstep's pretty significant here. Yeah. Shot zero. Berserker style becoming innate is not bad, right? That's that's just an innate berserk entry. That actually matters a hell of a lot. <laughs> a huge amount. Then just strike the frontliner. Nice and circle right there. I try and hard buff so I can double play it. Yep. That'll do. Oh, look at the HP that disappeared from all the enemies there. I love it. Uh, Lariat. Technique. Perform X times. Gain 5 block and trigger technique. I mean, this is a decent way to block. It blocks for a bunch and it also gives us a bunch of fatigue. Let's take Lariat. It's a decent way to block. Not a great way, mind. A decent way. I'm going to strike the back line, who's now playing three skills next turn, also kills them. Although I don't think that's going to be how we do it. Call it a hunch. I really need a third encircle in this deck. Encircle is our main source of damage. By far. It's another card that combos with the Enchanted Strike, so I'm less likely to whiff on that draw. Okay. I don't think I should take that many more of them. I think what we're really lacking at the moment is defense. In fact, I think that's what we've been really lacking for a while now. Taking that back. This'll do. We taunt our way into Berserker. We use Encircle. Getting some fatigue out there. And then we can use Backstep to get into Defensive and get some extra block out of it. And we can even Larry it for zero at the end in order to get a counter out there. Beautiful. Well, Enchant Sword has its obvious target in hand now. Although I will use an attack potion to see if I have the ability to do anything else here instead. No, not really. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't think I need to get out of stance there. Speaking of getting out of stance, though, this one will do it. Quite happily, in fact. To wait 14 to random enemy two times. If I play the Sigil of Victory, I get fatigue three. Repeat this effect two times. So fatigue nine, nine on six. That'll be two extra points of strength. Uh, that two extra points of strength means this is 16 times two times two. So 16 by four. 16 by four is... Uh, 64? Right, 32, 64. That's not enough damage to kill the enemy. Which means we really don't want a heavy fatigue right now. So the incoming damage to us is 21, 8, 29. I'm worried that I whiff on a draw past this and then I actually die. Those actually don't help. All right. That hurts. Definitely not a whiff on this draw, but also not necessarily incredible. Uh, and circles the kill. <laughs> ah, blessing of the Forge. The reason I didn't pop that earlier is because I was thinking, what if I get a potion here? Sadly, I did. Well, I'll stand again. I mean, I am going to be hovering around there consistently. With the amount of... Uh, with the amount of fatigue we have in the deck. I like it. I like it. Good finisher for us, I think. Um, I'm going to drop a Liquid Bronze for the Blessing of the Forge because I want to be a little bit more aggressive than that. There's the Idol of Retromation. I don't really have expensive cards, so pretty much anything expensive I draft beyond this point, I can rely on the uh, Idol of Retromation likely hitting. Sure. More than happy to. Okay, I see a path with the Emerald Elite and a really early shop. Pretty keen to take it if it's possible. Hmm. A lot of these cards upgrade to give us energy back, and I don't necessarily want that energy back. Lariat giving us the ability to get an energy back specifically after it has used all X gives me the ability to, like, defend afterwards or some such, but also upgrading backstep would give me the ability to do that. Um, or maybe, like, fit in a finisher after Lariat. That's that's something it's, uh, it's giving us the ability to do. Encircle does not need to be upgraded. Like, its base damage increases by two. Or, you know, two hits two times, so four. Sometimes uh, it hits another two times, so eight. But it's it's compared to the fact that we also gain strength pretty ridiculously quickly. Yeah, it's hard to figure out what, what to actually burst here. We'll burst the sigil. Trying to be more aggressive about these things. Huh? Let's see where this goes. Ooh. Really? Thank you. I don't need to put both of them on the ground, but I can is the thing as well. So let's do it. Okay, last stand isn't ready yet, but trust me, it will be. You less after boss battles, yeah, that makes sense. It explains how we are, where we are. Really wish I could use a finisher in this hand. I'm gonna take for a power potion. Into ultimate stance. I 
I mean, look, it's the best I can do right now. I'm going to do that. I'm also going to do Blessing in the Forge, play the ultimate stance, and then stance, stance for the draw. Really? It's pretty much exactly what I didn't want to draw there. Pretty much spot on exactly what I didn't want. I'm overspending resources right now, definitely. Oh, definitely. All bonuses. Because of the two sigils of victory, actually, ultimate stance would be great in this deck. Perfect. Let's upgrade the inner circle again and then pop that. Focus Berserker. Enter Berserk. Until you exit Berserk stance, technique fatigues for two more. That's really good with the Sigils of Victory as well as the Encircle. As well as Lariat. It's actually really good in general. All right. I'll take a Focus Berserker. Sure. Get punched. Upgrade two random cards. Remove a card and upgrade a card. Remove a card and upgrade a random card in particular. I probably just want to upgrade two random cards. Is that the case? I don't know. I could remove a strike. Yeah, let's remove a strike and upgrade. Hey, Stance Stance. That's a pretty spicy upgrade right there for us. All right, Merchant. I'm feeling like I can probably get a good hundred off of you right now. Care to prove me right? Do I really want a hard buff on turn one or... Do I instead go for the draw? I think I hard buff, actually. So hard draw, obviously, would have been going into Gladiator and then doing that. Back step's already totally comfy here. Sadly, it also means I'm not going to be able to defend well. Well, sorry, not defend well, but I'm uh, not going to be able to um, enchant anything effective. Might as well use that while I can. I'm going to strike and then backstep my way out of that with 93 block. Oh, calipers would be so good. You know, the really, really annoying thing here is I might I have really good damage next turn contingent upon not using either of these finishes. I could definitely make it uh, make advantage. Use, rather. Take advantage. Um, of a uh, calipers. Yes, it would be good here. That felt like about 100 damage overall. Peace. Deathblow Lariat and Endless Rage. So Deathblow, honestly, the biggest thing about Deathblow to me right now is the fact that it hits all enemies. So after I get real buff, it's like good AOE. Also, just good fatigue gain. I don't think I need Berserker Shout here. Face Slap's a little appealing for some vulnerability. Guardian Quell is also actually really appealing. Provides even more AoE. I'm also even looking at the Lee's Waffle right now. Hmm. I'm going to take the Guardian Whirl, actually. And then a back step and then walk away. I think that solves better than any of the other things there. The two problems I really, really have. My lack of AoE and my lack of defense.
I don't necessarily want to take that much damage right now, but I also don't really want to spend my whole turn doing nothing. I'm going to Enchant Sword on the Encircle. Got a death Blow and then Encircle. I was really hoping to kill at least one target on the board with that one. I'm going to go for an Ethereal card and I'm actually... Uh, nice. Wait. No. I was looking for a skill. Oh, that's annoying. Thankfully, this is still fine. I was looking for a skill so I could do the AoE with the letter opener. Just lower as best I can the incoming damage there. Okay, yeah, Guardian Wells are ready to kill. Love it. Mm, not need. I need to find some anti-attrition as well, because it's a little bit rough for us right now. Um, stay Berserker. Stay Berserker again. Love it. Do you manage to get the kill on turn one as well? You really had to be going for the attack right now? That's, that's rough. Uh... Well, I guess I should just do the best I can. Start out with the Guardian World because then I don't waste any damage on the in circles. Well, I should have played the other in circle first. And last stand at the very end of it, getting my HP back. Ow, ow, ow. I guess I'll just enchant the death blow because it can. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna backstep then sigil of victory. Kill one of the targets on the board, try to defend two, and then a last stand. Idea here being that both of the chomps die, so I only have one target left on the board, and can kind of just focus them. Iron Fortress. Whenever you enter stance, gain three block and counter. No, not really. Um, for all upgraded cards in the deck, one, two, three, four, five. Five so far on Masterful Slash? Also, no. I think I'll hard pass all of that there. I really, really need some anti-attrition at this point. I like the one week to all enemies, though. That'll be helpful. I definitely can't afford to take a ritual dagger right now. That 6 HP is actually really, really sad. I'm a 50-50 it. I don't really take this risk that often. <gasps> Whenever you play a power card or rend card in hand costs zero for the rest of the turn, it's worth noting that my power cards, except for the Berserker style, that's actually really good, um, are finishes, so I'm not really going to be able to utilize the energy after those at the absolute least. See how well we draw. Um, definitely pop that defense. And then I'm gonna probably just kill the enemy for fun. Deal damage equal to your fatigue to the enemy. It's also a finisher. I'm gonna take it. It's free upgraded. I said that I didn't want to use that card. Now we're in a position where I do get to use that card. So let's use that card. Uh, this is also definitely our dex pot fight. Seven block, three times. 21, 28, 32. The incoming damage is 29. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this because I'm pretty sure that unless I gamble on getting Guardian Worlds and in, in Circle, like, I have to set myself to one HP, basically. So, unless I gamble on getting those in the next turn or a finisher to get my resolve back, I'm 
pretty much already dead. Unfortunately, we're now weakened. Enchant Sword on the Guardian Whirl. I'd love to death blow. I mean, I can death blow as well. 40 to all enemies. Oh, God. We are literally one HP away from fine. Eleven dual enemies, yeah. So the the Taskmaster does five. I block for four at the end of the turn. They hit me and actually uh, like actually kill me. I made the right gamble because I was gonna die this turn if I didn't kill the enemies. It's just, oh, uh, that's so rude. One HP in it. Yep. That or the death blow would have done the exact same right there. Come on! I tried! I even took a safer... Well, I took a safer path on the previous floor, not this one. <laughs> I needed the key. Hmm. I definitely could have played a lot safer there. Oh, 100%. I don't know what my plan would have been to get through the Ironclad, right? Rest here. Take on another elite. Hope I don't lose too that much HP. Hope I draw well in the Ironclad. What I was really missing here was good defense, right? I overdrafted tools that I thought were going to help us in Berserker mode. Obviously, I don't necessarily think I need two copies of Last Stand. Um, Berserker style, pretty good. Double Sigil of Victory, I still kind of stand by that. The Guardian uh, world, definitely. I stand by at least one, if not two of the Encircles. Definitely not the third, though. Um... Focus Berserker might have been much uh, too much as well, right? Like, because I'm getting down to the end of my HP in terms of fatigue relatively commonly, uh, even when I start fights on 60 HP. So it feels like this is in excess to requirement. And then obviously the two back steps were, were pretty helpful as well as the Lariat. Yeah, so I feel like ultimately Stance Dance in retrospect wasn't needed, but I found Berserker Style afterwards, so I couldn't have known that. Uh, focus and the Last Stand weren't needed, and what I did need to do was focus a little bit more on drafting defense, even if I had to draft defensive style stuff. Um, it also feels like maybe... Mm, I was about to say maybe finishes are really much more important to me, but... Berserker style makes it not necessarily hugely important. So the finishes would be directly after a backstep, right? Because I've just entered defensive and now I have the ability to exit it. But also, if I played backstep, I probably already full defended. So I don't think the finishes were actually the problem I was having there. That's okay. We've got more than enough time to figure out exactly what problem we were having there in future episodes. But for the moment, my name is Ben Rapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire Downfall. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.